and just see how beautiful you all look. It is fantastic to see everybody here. Thank you so, so much. And I want to say that I think we shouldn't doubt that we are sending a loud, loud message to government with our protest here today. Because we are saying loudly and clearly that there is only one place for fossil fuels, and that is in the ground. And I want to pay tribute to all of those wonderful people who have been fighting this fight for so long. For people like Frackoff, for people like Vanessa Vine, for people like the community here in Balkan, for people like the wonderful people in Lancashire as well, who have been fighting this for years. Thank you very, very much. And we are standing on your shoulders, actually quite literally, uh, here today, because you have helped put this issue at the top of the political agenda. And I want to tell you that Balkan is absolutely at the front line of the campaign against climate change. Because we know that if we're to have any hope of a livable future, then two thirds of known fossil fuel reserves have to stay underground. And so the idea of searching for yet more fossil fuels is nothing less than criminal. And that's why we're here to say that this why we're here to say that this is what democracy looks like. Yes. And I can promise you that there is a much better standard of debate in the workshops at the climate camp than you'll ever find at Westminster. Yes. But I want to assure you as well that there is at least one voice in Westminster that is raising this issue, that has had a debate with ministers about fracking, and they are still in utter denial about the scale of what's being proposed. But you know, there was one moment when I did begin to see some of the scales fall from the eyes of some of the Tory MPs. And that was when people were talking not about climate change, not about the water stress, not about the local environmental impacts, but simply about the scarring of the landscape that this is going to involve. Because if they don't like the scarring as they see it of wind farms, then they haven't seen anything yet. Because the figures are even to replace 10% of our current gas demand by fracked gas, to replace just 10% of it would require over 100,000 wells being drilled up and down the country. And then we explained it to those MPs who still didn't quite get it, and said on average that means 164 wells in every single constituency. And do you know what? There was suddenly just a little bit of quiet, as people imagined 164 times what we've got here today. So my message to you is simple. Do not believe that you can't make a difference. Do not believe that this isn't making a difference. This is making a massive difference. Your presence today is hugely important. And so power, power to your elbows. Greetings from the Green Party of Brighton and Hove, which has made Brighton and Hove a frack-free zone because they have the minority administration in Brighton and Hove. Greetings from them, congratulations on what you're doing, and we are with you every step of the way. Thank you.